Hi everyone, so tonight I thought I would talk to you a bit about conferencing um, in the Montessori classroom and how we do it at our school. So conferencing is a way of checking in with the children, um, it's a way of looking at their balance of work, um, looking at their journals, what's been happening for them, and we do it um, every two weeks. So it is quite intensive to sit with every child one on one, um, you know, it, it should only take around five minutes, but it is so, so worth it, that, that small amount of time you learn so much and you really connect with that child. So we just um, have little books like this for each child and we get them out um, during the week when we're ready to do a conference and we just have some questions that we ask them every couple of weeks and I just thought I'd share with with you I don't know everyone would ask different questions but this is what we do so we ask them um, something they're proud of so we're kind of you know building that language of of um, you know what they think they're good at what they're really enjoying what they think they've done really well at and it could be something they're proud of at home something socially something academically it can be whatever they want so for some children, that's actually quite hard. Um, so we help build that language. If others, you know, they're, they're pretty good at that. Um, the second question we ask is, what's something you've found challenging in the last two weeks? And those two questions work really well because often they will say the same thing that they're proud of. And we, we kind of, you know, show, wow, you know, sometimes things that are really hard become things that you feel really good about because you accomplished them. So it kind of reinforces that effort and, and you know, and trying something that you're not so comfortable with. Um, another question we ask is, oh, Joey's very growly tonight, um, is um, how are you going with your last goal? And they set goals every couple of weeks and what support do you need? We also ask how's everything um, in the class for you at lunchtime at home. Um, they might tell us, um, you know, they might have some, you know, hobby they're doing at home and they want to share that. And I think it's a really nice space um, to, you know, to connect with that child about their home life as well. Um, they often talk about their siblings and knowing them and stuff and we talk about ways that they can, um, you know, they can interact in a better way or, you know, resolve conflict with their siblings and things as well. And it's really good to check in with how things are going socially um, and at lunchtime and that kind of thing if they're having any problems in the playground with friends, you know, just so they feel heard and that they feel safe and um, we can help them sort through anything. Um, we also ask them for our planning purposes, what, what would you like a lesson on? Is there something that you've seen someone in the class do? Is there something you're really interested in? Something that's happening at home that you'd like to kind of extend at school? Um, so we use that for planning purposes as well. And then we kind of discuss what their next goal is for the next fortnight. And for the little ones, um, we usually help them set this because when they first come, this is a little bit foreign. Um, and so, you know, it might be to... Um, gosh, some of them do, you know, to get better at a certain exercise at yoga. That's one of their first goals. So it's it's not really about the goal. It's about the idea of having a, a kind of something you're working towards and checking in and seeing how it went and reflecting on that for the little ones. And then we start setting kind of, um, I guess, more ones that are focused on the content a little bit more as they get older. Um, so yeah, that's just a little breakdown of how we do our conferencing. Um, it's so valuable and it really creates really strong relationships with the children and they feel safe. And we do often do these kind of in a quieter space and we'll move away from other children so the child feels safe to tell you if there's a conflict or something they, they need help sorting out. But yeah, and that's I guess a form of an assessment in Montessori as well and just a, yeah, a really important part of checking in with each child and you know fostering the individual.